Okay, begin. This session is a lesson in a soap opera music. You know, when the, someone find out their, their spouse has been cheating on them, or they come up from the dead, or maybe a combination of both, or they're married to their daughters, sons, siblings, nephews, uncles, grandfathers, or something like that, which is really twisted. But I don't, I don't watch a soap opera, but I do know the music. You know, it's like the longing chords. Just really broad strokes. How could you do this to me? <laughs> and you're gonna leave room to pause because they're gonna have dialogue where they're so upset and distressed, but you have to punctuate it like this. Like that. And you leave space. Like, you know, slaps in the face. Like, ah, you know, how could you do this to me? <laughs> like that, right? It's like, if I hadn't known you and weren't sleeping with my sister's parallel twin, I would have never done that. And then they may look at each other, arms crossed. Very, very tense, you know. It's also in horror movies, you know. Don't know where the killer's coming. Don't know. <laughs> Often the, sometimes the most ominous theme, very simple, like Jaws. Like Halloween, you know. <laughs> am I right? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, see? And then you can make it happy because everyone likes Pachelbel's piano and, and it's always Please, sir. See, whenever it's a bad situation, always turn the pocketbook's cannon. Yeah, I'm deliberately playing in a different key. Maker. Dance. Yeah, I'm not going to do that last note. <laughs> Psych.